Hi, welcome back. This is Dr. Charles Harry, and this is Cybersecurity for Everyone. In our last video, we talked about what we meant by cyber. And in this video, we want to talk about what we mean by security. And together, cybersecurity helps define what we want to speak about for the rest of this particular course. So what is security? Security, if we take a look at a textbook definition, freedom from danger, or freedom from fear or anxiety. So what we're talking about is how can we make ourselves more secure or more free from fear? So what do we mean by achieving security? Well, security actually comes from in a variety of different perspectives. You can achieve security at a variety of different levels, whether it's for an individual or for a corporation or even for a nation state. And so these range of what we call actors leverage a variety of tools. Some of them might be technical, some of them might be process-based to secure themselves, to make them more free from danger or threat. If you're an individual, you might use something like technology, an antivirus. Many of you are quite familiar with this type of technology where you're constantly looking for the latest threats that might actually have uh, entered onto your uh, device. You might use an architecture change, things like changing up how your network is actually structured and built in order to better protect yourself. And you do that at an individual level, at your home network. You could be, if you're a corporation, focus on, on additional type of tools to secure yourself. Yes, you might use technology, includes uh, antivirus, but it might also include what we would call an intrusion detection system, a piece of software or an application that's running that tells you if someone has actually penetrated your network. You might make changes to your own architecture. You might create multiple networks that are what we call air gap, that are physically separated from one another. You might leverage risk management techniques to decide that some parts of your network matter more than others. And therefore, that's where you should spend your money to defend yourself. You might actually incorporate insurance as a way to protect yourself in the case of a large scale intrusion. These are all various examples of tools that corporations might actually use, and they are distinct from what individuals might use. Finally, if you're a nation state, if you're a country, if you're in the United States of America, yes, you might leverage technology. Yes, you might use risk management programs, but you're also going to bring other special assets to play. Things like your intelligence services, the Central Intelligence Agency, the National Security Agency, and others, FBI to determine what threats you should respond to, or you know, potentially to incorporate information about vulnerabilities in networks and how you might actually be able to plug those up. You might use what we call hard power, the ability to use your military to respond to certain threats, to make yourself feel more secure. So security comes in a variety of flavors. And it comes in a range of different actors. So security can be obtained for individuals. Security can be obtained for corporations and organizations. But it can also be obtained for countries writ large. So a working definition of cybersecurity together, this notion of complexity along with the range of various actors and the tools that they can bring to bear to secure themselves, might you know include something like or might be akin to something like cybersecurity is the organization and collection of resources, processes, and structures used to protect cyberspace and cyberspace enabled system. So what we're talking about here is in order to achieve security in cyber is that it's not simply about technology. Technology is foundational, no doubt about it but it includes resources, processes, and structures, which include governance at a national level, as well as individual implementation of that latest patch for that specific application. And so hopefully what you're starting to see here is that when we talk about something as basic as a definition, is that it can really be quite informative about the range of considerations we need to have in order for us to be more secure in cyberspace. 
So in this course, we're going to be discussing a variety of different topics to include the evolution and development of the internet, the global telecommunications environment, how information actually moves from one point of the earth to the next. How is the internet actually governed? Who makes the rules? Is it a single government? Are they individuals? Is it pure anarchy? We'll discuss that. Who are the hackers? And why are they motivated to do what they do? Why do we have this problem? Are all hackers doing uh, this type of activity for the same purpose? Or do they have different motives? We're going to actually talk about what do we mean by hacking. This is one of those terms that people very casually throw out. But it's actually a process. Are hackers really simply just, you know, spending 30 seconds and immediately get access to the electrical grid for the country and take it down? Or is it a much more methodical process that's actually much more difficult to pull off than what Hollywood would tell you? What are the effects that they can achieve? Are all hacks uh, focused on the same end goal? Are they only about stealing information? Or can some hacks result in a largely disruptive attacks that we need to account for? What I hope that you've taken away from the first couple of videos of this course is that cyber is much more than simply about the technology. It's much more than just the ones and zeros that we oftentimes hear about in popular media. It's about complexity. It's about bringing people, technology, organizations together. And it's about trying to secure it at a variety of different levels, from you and your home network, to corporations and critical infrastructure providers, to nation states who are seeking to protect their most valuable secrets. In our next video, we'll talk about the broad threat landscape and what, what are the various topics we need to address if we're going to get better at understanding the problem of cybersecurity. Thanks, and see you next time.